All right. Hey man, howdy, howdy, hi there. Welcome to True Backstage and Road Stories. So first of all, please like and subscribe and ring the bell and share. Do all that good stuff, please. I would appreciate it. And you know, I hate doing this, but it's part of it. But anyway, uh, thanks to all my buddies and thanks to y'all for all your comments. Man, your comments just blow me away. They're so cool. You don't know how much they mean to me. But anyway, that's... I uh, just want to thank you all. It really mean it. But I'm going to get on with the story because I know you don't want to hear all my jibber-jabbering about goofy, you know, about how much I love you all and all that because I really do. But anyway, I'm going to tell you about... We went to Japan one time. <laughs> and in Japan... Walter, quit messing with me. I'm doing a video, Walter. Stop doing that jealous boots anyway so we're in Japan and we, we we go and get a cab because we want to go into town we had a little time off we was going to go into town get you know do a little drinking and have some fun so we get in the cab and we go to this bar and, and this bar the guy from the hotel he's like a concierge concierge and he he goes with us he takes us and there's like four or five of us and we go there and we get to this one bar and one of the guys with us has tattoos so first thing they do is we go to the door and they go they do this and that means no you you're not getting in so because he had tattoos they associated him with Yakuza I guess and that's uh, Yakuza is a Japanese mob, I think. And so, anyway, they wouldn't let us in. So we went to another bar, and we sit in the bar. And then they got these girls that come around, really pretty, dressed up, nice girls. They come around, and they sit with you. Oh, cool, man. Hey, yahoo. <laughs> sitting there. Every bar over there is a karaoke bar. I mean, every bar is a karaoke bar. So these girls sitting with us, we're having a good time drinking, and we get up, we're ready to go, and then the bill was astronomical. <laughs> we didn't know these girls charged by the hour to sit with us. They just came over and sat with us. We didn't ask them to or nothing. I don't know if he did, the concierge, but that was the bill was unbelievable. We're like, Ugh. So anyway, we paid the bill. And so we get in the cab again. And me and another guy get in the cab. And I, well, first of all, the cab drivers, you get to do, these cab drivers think they're hot stuff, man. It's like you get in a cab, it's just spotless clean. They got doilies on the headrest. And the driver's got a real smart cap, and he's got white gloves, man. It's unbelievable. And they, it's like being in your grandma's house with a butler. It, it's unbelievable. So, they, I guess they take a lot of pride in their cabs. They must. Which is a very cool thing, actually. So, but I kind of leaned over and let one out. <laughs> but it was a little louder than I expected. And this cab driver turns around <laughs> and kicks us out of the cab because I pooted. You know, I'm what? No, get out, get out, get out, get out. So we get out of his cab, and there's about six cabs behind him. So we go to the next cab. The guy goes, no. In the next cab, the guy goes, no, you're not getting in. All the way down. He must have radioed them and told them not to let us in because I pooted in his cab. I mean, goodness, you know. I wasn't trying to degrade his cab. But I guess he thought I was. and uh, So we ended up waiting for a while. Then a cab showed up. And we finally got a cab. And then we go to this other bar. Or I go to this bar by myself one evening. And this guy, it was weird. Like I said, every bar is karaoke bar. So this guy is singing a song. And this really good looking Japanese girl and I were dancing. We were just slow dancing, you know. And this guy takes his microphone and just sticks it in my butt. 
while I'm dancing. That really made me mad, so we get through dancing this song, and I walk over to the guy, and I slap him. <laughs> I just went, pow! Oh, man, the whole bar just went nuts, man. They kicked me out, gave me my bar tab, and told me never come back. I said, wait a minute. I didn't start this. He did. You know, I'm going to stand up for myself. Well, no, you're not. <laughs> not in that bar. So I said, okay, man, goodness. I left, and I didn't go to any other bars. But it, it, it was just the way they are, man. They're a lot, lot different than we are. Uh, you know, they do that and get away with it. I wasn't going to let him. But I told my dad about it. Well, you know, boy, you disrespected the company you work for. You disrespected yourself, and you disrespected your country. <laughs> like, what? You know, I couldn't believe he stuck up for these people that did that, man. Unbelievable. But that was Japan. But one time, we went to Mexico. And we, in Mexico... And I think it was right across from, actually, we were, we were doing a show, I think, in El Paso. So we went to Mexico. We had time off, a day off, I think. We went to Mexico. And over there, the roads, man, I swear to God, the roads, they must think asphalt is a disease in your butt because I, oh, man, those roads are horrible. But anyway, we get in a cab. And we go drinking different bars. We're going to different bars. And the cab driver goes in with us. He drinks too. So he expects you to buy his drinks. And we did. You know, and we were having a great time. And so we get in his cab. We're pretty liquored up by this stage. <laughs> so I talk to this cab driver. I'm in the front seat. And I said, man, let me drive. Let me drive. Said, what? No, 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 no. I said, come on, man, let me drive. There's nobody around. Come on, let me drive this cab. So he finally agrees. We got him liquored up enough and agrees to let me drive his cab. So there's me driving the cab. He's next to me. And then there's like two or three guys in the back. So they're like, oh, no, <laughs> man. So I get in this cab and I start driving. And like I said about the asphalt, it's just, it's just dirt roads everywhere. So I'm driving around, bum, 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 you know, driving along. And next thing you know, man, I go by. I did, had no idea where I was. I was just driving. I'd just go anywhere. I didn't care. And the cab driver that next to me was liquored up enough that he didn't care. Until I was driving. Next thing I see was it was the cab station where all the cabs are kept and maintenance and all that it was the cab stand it was the cab station for the city and this guy and i i went and I looked and wow man and they're looking at everybody's looking at me because i'm driving one of their cabs <laughs> and they're looking at this white boy driving a cab so i rolled the window down well it may have already been down because i don't know if they had air conditioning or not but yeah i think it did but anyway i rolled the window down and i yell out I said, ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? And so in my broken Spanish, that means, where's the library? <laughs> These guys all look, and they all, the ones that were sitting down or standing up, you know, they're all like, what is going on? And I drove by, and, and this guy goes, oh, no, man. <laughs> he couldn't believe that I went by the cab station driving his cab. And I, I don't know if he got fired or he lost his job. I hope not, man. I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. But it was quite funny at the time. <laughs> we, we had such a great time, man. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. So when we go, you know, we go across, anywhere we go outside of the country, we act like stupid Americans. Yeah, but we're not snobby Americans. I mean... And we don't think we can buy anything, buy our way out of anything. We're not like that. You know, it's like a lot of, a lot of foreigners for us, or the, we're foreigners in their country, but a lot of them think that we think money will get whatever we want. We think we can buy anything we want. Well, we, we don't act like that. We just, we just act crazy sometimes. <laughs> and we just like to have fun, you know? 
in a, in a lot of other countries, they just don't have fun like we do. You know, one time I had a rental car in Portugal. Well, I went by myself to this town. We were staying somewhere. And I, I went to another town driving this rental car by myself. And over there, the roads had these stone walls everywhere you know they're just also beautiful man just absolutely beautiful and i'm driving around thinking i'm james bond you know so the next thing you know i'm getting out of driving and driving and driving next thing you know i spin out man i go shh well i knocked one brick wall down i put a i mean a big section <laughs> I knocked down and it bounced me off of that brick wall into the other brick wall and so I knocked part of it down, and the next thing I know, I hair lift this car really, really bad. So the people that rented us the car, <laughs> they were so mad they couldn't believe it, man. They were so mad that they said, oh, well, we don't have any insurance. I was like, what? <laughs> How can you not have insurance? You know, but they didn't have any insurance on these cars because they didn't expect some crazy man like me to go driving like a bat out of hell through the roads. I mean, but it was beautiful. I had a just, it was so cool, man. I mean, just driving through there. But I lost control of the car. I was going a little fast, got to admit. But it was just fun. And I didn't mean to hurt anybody or anything, but I did. And so I kind of feel sorry about that. But anyway, you know, I, I, once again, I got to say thank you to everybody. You know, all y'all. I'm going to list y'all at the end of the video like I do every video. And I don't think, well, I think I will. Thank you, Noel, and with Baffman's Lounge. Thank you, Jimmy Withers, for the camera. Thank you, Joe Caffrey, for the lighting. Thank you, Greg Stevens, for the microphone. And Noel, also, don't forget the tripod. Thank you. And, you know, and the support everybody gives me, Temporal Overdose, Dogman, Homestead, Big Sons Lawn Care, uh, who else? Oh, am I forgetting somebody? I got, I know, I forget somebody every time. I should write this down. But, uh, thank you all, everybody that comments. Thank you very much. Uh, who am I missing? Oh, I'm missing somebody. I can't tell. I can't think of who it is. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, man. So, see you later. Bye. I'll come out with a new story soon. Uh, some other one. I got a ton of them. So, I will come out with a new story. Thank you for watching, man. See you later. Bye.